Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my August favorites for you guys. And for some odd reason, my lighting is just not on point right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm looking in the viewfinder and it's just looking a little crazy. I'm a little bit burnt, so yeah. Let's just get on with the video. Um, I have quite a few products, like always, nothing new. Now, although my coloring is looking a little off in the viewfinder, I do want to mention the bronzer that I've been abusing lately. I've talked about this one before on my channel. This is the Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer. Now, I wanted to repurchase this because, as you can see, I'm hitting major pan here. But when I looked on Sephora's website, it didn't seem that they had this one. I feel like they either repackaged it discontinued this or I don't know what happened. I love this bronzer not only because it's warm but because it's so buttery soft. I always find myself going back to this one just because it's so good and the brush that I've been living for this month has been this Tarte. I believe this is called the Bamboo Swirl Swirl and Contour? Or Swirl and Powder Brush. It's this guy right here. It's pretty new. This has like the bamboo bristle. Kind of looks like the Eco Tools brushes. I love Tarte brushes. Tarte brushes are so amazing. They really give you an airbrush look. Even their crease brushes, their eye brushes, face brushes, all the brushes are a bomb. I wouldn't compare the Tarte necessarily to the NARS Eda just because they're two completely different brushes. The NARS will give you that chiseled contour while this one will just kind of give you that like bronze and just glowy look. So this doesn't really give you a chiseled look but it fits so perfectly on the temples. That's why I really love this brush because Sometimes with a smaller brush, I'll be sitting there forever trying to like swirl the bronzer. I'm a bronzer fanatic, especially now that I'm a little bit more tan. I don't tan my face, so I feel like I have to overcompensate with my bronzer. But this one makes it so easy to just bronze up my face really quickly, really effortlessly. And I seriously think this is worth the money. Love this brush. Sticking with face products, I have been abusing MAC Peaches Blush. You guys have seen me use this in quite a few tutorials. Obsessed with this blush. Now that summer's ending, I feel like I'm probably not going to wear this one as much, but this one, along with Benefit Coralista, these are beautiful peachy colors, especially for a sun-kissed look. It just goes so well for the summer, but especially MAC Peaches, it's a pure matte peach color. Coralista from Benefit does have a shimmer, which when you're tanned, it doesn't look as pigmented, the color payoff. But MAC Peaches is just amazing and I have been abusing this. It's probably the only blush that I've been using every single time I do my makeup. I even use this a lot on my clients. I find myself just reaching for this one. So remember when I was obsessed with Blush Baby? This is like Blush Baby but the summer version. Obsessed. Next up, sticking with cheek products. You guys are going to hate me for this one. I know you're just going to like grind your teeth right now. But it's a really expensive product really expensive but I love it so much at first I wasn't sure how I felt but I'm literally falling in love with it every single time I use it it's a Tom Ford highlight in mood light is a skin illuminating powder duo so it looks like this and this was so pricey $80 I know I know don't kill me but it was just I had to do it it has two shades this gives you more of a sheen and not a shimmer but I feel like swatching it just does no justice. I like to just kind of swirl my brush into both. This gives you that like wet sheen kind of lit from within glow. I'm going to go ahead and apply it so you guys could see. Like how pretty is that? How pretty? Wet glow where it just looks healthy and it looks really, really expensive. It looks really good. I love it. I just love it. I at first didn't really think it was worth the $80. I almost returned it. The more I gave this a chance, the more I fell in love with it. I just don't like that my fingerprints are all up on it, but love this. I tried a couple of different brushes with this highlight, but my favorite, of course, is the Morphe M310 Fan Brush. Hands down, favorite, favorite, favorite brush to apply highlight. It is just so amazing. I have four of these because it's that good, and it's, like, dense enough to pick up products and kind of just hold the highlight right at the tip. I feel like with this brush, even if you have like a really glittery highlight, it kind of diffuses the glitter and gives you more of a sheen. I don't know what it what it is or why it works so well, but it works really well. I love that it's dense, but it's not too thick where it just kind of like, you know, gives you a streak of highlight and then you can't blend it. Like you can just turn this on its side and blend. You can probably use this for like contouring and bronzing, but I've only used this for highlighting and it does the job and I love it. And it's super inexpensive, which is awesome. 
So yeah, I love this one, Morphe M310. You can use my code, which is Rosita, for 10% off anything Morphe. Uh, yeah, so love this brush. Next up, since we did a really high-end product, I'm going to show you a drugstore product that I've been using all month, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I have the shade 107 Fresh Beige on, um, but I was wearing 106 earlier actually, and they both kind of worked. I don't know, I just went tanning, so my tan is still kind of settling in. I love this foundation, perfect for oily skin girls. I have dry skin, but I still make it work with like a dewy or hydrating primer and a using a beauty blender. It definitely makes such a difference. It's supposed to be a demi matte, but I think it's a true matte finish doesn't get me oily, doesn't look cakey, it looks really good, especially on camera. I wore this yesterday to an event and all of my pictures looked flawless, like my selfies, group pictures, flash pictures, it just, it held up so nicely. I was sweating so much, I was even in the rain. When I got home, I had to like scrub the foundation off, so definitely like a great foundation, probably my top five favorite foundations. A lot of people question why I use L'Oreal foundation on clients when I have so many other high-end foundations, but if you are an oily skin girl, I feel like this holds up so much better than some of the high-end foundations that claim to be matte. So, love this foundation, and of course it helps that it's super inexpensive, $12.99, but you could definitely snag a deal at Rite Aid when they're like 40% off L'Oreal, so love this foundation. I literally own every single color for my kit. And I started using it on myself and I love it. Quickly want to shout out a favorite brow product. I normally don't favorite brow products. I pretty much stick to the same kind of product like my Brow Wiz, a dip brow. But I have just abandoned my dip brow completely and I switched over to this Inglot Brow Gel Liner in number 17. It's this teeny little liner. It looks like the 77 eyeliner but in a small teeny tiny version. The color is perfection. It's a nice chocolate brown. I don't know what I was doing without this. This color is a bit dark um, for my hair color, but I still love it. So here's a swatch of it. It's so pigmented. If you are a fan of the number 77 liner for your eyes, just imagine that intensity in a brow. Like, you know, not Sharpie brow, but it's just so rich and pigmented. It hasn't dried out on me. This is what I've been using and I love it. And I feel like in pictures it looks so good. It has like a nice waxy feel. But it's so creamy so you can definitely use like any brush with it. And it's not going to give you that like tugging motion. It's awesome. You need to try this and it's so inexpensive. Like Inglot is pretty inexpensive for the quality that you're getting. This is high quality and I feel like Inglot is so not underrated because a lot of people know about Inglot. But... I feel like a lot of people wouldn't try this out just because everyone knows the regular liner. No one really wants to try out their brow stuff, but definitely thumbs up from me. Quickly, I just want to talk about this MAC Lash Applicator. It is so bomb skis. Love this. It's just like a tool to apply your lashes. Another favorite of mine this month were these lashes that I'm wearing right now. They're the Lily Lashes in my Konos, but I threw out the package and yeah, love them though. And I love applying lashes with this MAC applicator. It's 20 bucks at the Mac store. Um, I don't see myself applying lashes the same without this. I use this on my clients. I use this on myself. It has a perfect shape where you can just grab your lash when it has glue and it's drying and you just place it. Like it, it literally does the work for you because of the bend that it has. I feel like psychologically my clients aren't as afraid of this than as opposed to like tweezers because they're so sharp. This doesn't seem as bad I guess and it's black and it's like slate and easy to clean so definitely a tool that professionals I feel like need in their kit but also just regular lash lovers. You will definitely appreciate this once you have it in your life. You won't see putting lashes on the same. Quickly want to mention this shadow. This is the Stila Shadow in Kitten. I snagged this on Macy's.com for like 8 bucks. It's this shadow right over here. It's beautiful as a highlight, but I like to put it in the inner corners of my eye. And it's this one right here. So you see the Tom Ford gives you more of like a sheen. And then this is more of like a stark whitish champagne highlight. I like this on the cupid's bow on the nose, but not really like on the cheeks. Unless I'm really going for that like stark, thick highlight. But this on the inner portions of the eye really just opens them up and gives you just a really nice glow. You guys actually told me that it was on sale on Macy's.com because I was going to buy it regular price. So if it's still on Macy's on sale, I will list it down below. But I would still pay full price for it because it's that good. 
Next shadow, really quickly, Kevin Aquan Burgundy. Really expensive, but so good. I honestly just, I picked this up one day and I was just like, oh, I'm just going to use it like once or twice. I use this almost every single time I do my shadow. I feel like it's perfect. At the end of my look, I'll just like throw it on top of any shadow that I have, like in the transition area. It warms up any look. It just ties everything together. Love it on the waterline or just like smoked out underneath. Love the shadow. You guys have seen me use it. I am so loving the consistency of this, so I definitely want to pick up the other colors. I'm so intrigued by these because they're so, so good. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about them, maybe because of the price point, but still definitely worth it to me. For skincare, I have two items. I've been using the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. It's an exfoliator, very gentle and just effective. It really just gives me a nice, clean slate, but it doesn't strip my skin. I don't feel dry after I use this. This is part of their Pore Reform line. I still use the Murad uh, Glyco Complex. It's like the serum that I talked about in my last favorites, but I forgot to mention this last time. I love this. I'll probably do an updated skincare routine, but if you're looking for a nice, simple, just like no frills exfoliator, try this out. Murad has become one of my favorite skincare lines just because, I don't know, they're just so effective. I, I feel like they really got it down packed, so love that. And then another skincare item that I've been loving is the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops uh, with Neroli. I talked a lot about this on Snapchat, so if you don't have me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. It's Beauty by Rosita. And this basically is just a drop that you can add to your moisturizer or your serum or your any of your skincare items. It just has a dropper. If you're familiar with their custom foundation drops, it's similar, just skincare version of it. I love this. It is so hydrating. You feel so supple and like plump after you use this, but in a good way. So hydrating. Gives you a nice glow. Like I remember I was using this like nonstop one week and you guys were like, wow, your skin is looking really good. What are you using? And I still have quite a lot, and I've definitely abused this baby since I've gotten it. I have the whole line of the drops, but this one's definitely my favorite because you guys know I have dry skin, and I just love hydration. I love to look hydrated, so love this. You can use it at night or in the morning. I prefer using it at night, uh, mixed in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion so that when I wake up, skin is looking hydrated. Lip combo, real quick. Always pretty much the same. Loved Soar this month. Uh, Soar lip liner. You guys know Soar. It's just like really pretty lip liner. Definitely makes your lips look plump. I just wore this baby down. This is MAC Blankety. I have it on right now. It is such a pretty basic nude. Every time I apply this in person, like I was going to say in real life, people are always asking me, what color is that? I've gifted this color to brides, like obviously a new one. Because it's just like the perfect nude. I love it. It's like a gray tone mauve nude. But it looks so good. It just it goes with so many different skin tones. My best friend actually put me onto this. She's a bit darker than me. And she would always wear blankety. Like this was her ride or die. She put me on and I've already gotten through two of these. And clearly I need a new one. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, it's You can't see that because it's gone. I've been using the Dior Lip Maximizer ever since I got it. This is a collagen active lip gloss balm, I guess you can say. Love this. It definitely plumps my lips. Not too much, but it gives me a nice shiny finish. Like, I love to just throw this in my purse. I feel like, why didn't you guys tell me about this earlier? When I posted it, everyone's like, yes, love that. I'm like, girls, why was you holding out? You saw I never had it. You should have told me because it is so good. It plumps. It gives you, like, a nice shine doesn't dry out your lips. You can use this over your lipstick, under your lipstick, or alone. I love products like this because I can just throw it into my clutch or my purse and I'm good to go. Like, I don't have to really think about it. It has a little bit of a tint. It's like a pink shade. It only comes in one shade in Sephora, at least. And, yeah, I really like this and I really enjoy it. So, this month I was abusing this baby. As far as skincare, I loved this Caress Fine Fragrance Adore Forever Long Lasting Irresistible Fragrance Released on Touch Body Wash. Long ass name. I'm not sponsored by Caress, but I do have the other one. It comes in like the reddish packaging and it says Love Forever. This smells so like fruity. It's just so sweet. It smells like a perfume and it literally lasts on your skin. 
Every time I use this, anytime I hug someone, they're always like, wow, you smell really good. Like, what is that? I feel like it makes my perfumes even smell stronger because it's so fruity. It has that, like, strong, fruity, girly scent. Love this. The Love one isn't as fruity, I would say, but I really just like this one. I love Caress body washes. I've been using Caress for a while. Can't go wrong with body wash, and it's only, like, six bucks, so can't beat that. I wanted to just quickly mention these hair products, but I will do like an in-depth hair video, what's been helping my hair grow, what I've been using, and I have been seeing results with these two brands, the Hair Plus Crecimiento Shampoo and Conditioner and the Vita Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. I only have one of each here. I alternate between these two brands, so I'll use a shampoo and conditioner from Hair Plus, and then the next time I wash my hair, I'll use the Vita line, so just using both lines. and. My hair has been growing. See, the problem is now I don't know which one works or if they're both working. It's kind of hard, so I'm going to have to, like, limit it. But I just feel like I like to shock my hair. I like to confuse it a bit and switch shampoos every single time I use one. So, I don't know. I like both brands. I really just like both brands. The Vita one suds up a little more. They're both all natural. Seriously, like, all natural. They have the ingredients listed and... It's just like under 10 ingredients, which you know it's something good. How many shampoos do you know can list the ingredients and it's less than 10? And the first ingredient is water. This one has aloe vera, honey, like what? This one has secret plants listed as an ingredient, so I don't know about that, but they both work and I've been loving that my hair has been growing because you guys know the journey with my hair has been a real one. The struggle is so real, so that's why it's up in a bun. I honestly hate styling short hair. You have no idea. So just wanted to just do a quick shout out of those brands because I know you guys were asking about them. Love both of them. Like I said, I don't really know which one's working or if they're both just working, but I know they're working, so I'm happy. Really random, I've been loving these Sephora blow dry clips. They're super strong. Like they give you a really strong hold. When I'm blow drying my hair, the worst thing for me is when the clip falls. Like it's I'm just like, whatever, it's going back in a bun and forget this whole blow dry thing. But I know that seems really dramatic, but these just hold my hair so well. Like I clip my hair up, boom, clip it, and then I start blow drying my hair and it literally holds it. So love these, kind of random. It's four clips for like 10 bucks, kind of pricey, but they really do work. So shout out to Wendy for putting me onto these because, yeah, I, it's random, but they're effective. And it's the type of thing that once you have them, you're like, oh, Life is so much easier now, and the reviews are really great. I was like, why didn't I know about this before? And they're hot pink, so that helps. These are three brushes, also by Morphe, that I wanted to quickly shout out. This is the Morphe M501. It just looks like a large 224 brush from MAC. It's just like, yeah, it looks like a fluffy, deluxe crease brush, but it's perfect for highlighting. I even like this to apply powder underneath my contour. Sometimes I even get crazy and start like blending shadow with this, even though it seems so big. Just the tip of it just lightly just kind of dusts my shadow and it kind of just blends it really nicely. So love this one again, Morphe M501. And then these two little babies are like accent detail brushes, which I really like. This is the Morphe E35 and it's this teeny tiny little brush. Like you can't even see it. It's so small, it's so small, but I love it for concealing my brows because it gives you that like really sharp look. Sometimes when I use a big brush, it'll get on my brow hair and it's just like so annoying because you have to go over your brows and then you end up with like dark brows. But this one is just so teeny. I mean, you have to put in more work because you really have to sit there and like be very precise. But I feel like if you're going to carve out your brows, carve them out right, right? This guy right here is the E36 and it's like a pointed, teeny tiny pencil brush. But it's fluffy, like it's not stiff at all, and I love it to apply inner corner highlight and then brow bone highlight. It is amazing. You can also use this like for concealing the brows, um, but I really like it for shadow. So these are nice. This little tiny one is more of a stiff brush, that's why I like it for creams. Where this one is better for powders because it is a little less dense and a little fluffier. So just wanted to quickly mention these. I love Morphe brushes, especially the Elite Collection. It is so bomb skis. Elite and Flawless Collection are my favorites. Morphe seriously needs to set up like a kit where you can just buy the whole set because that would be really awesome. So Morphe, if you're watching this, let's get on that. Coffee break. 
So those were all of my beauty favorites. Now it's time for my songs of the month. I actually don't have any Spanish songs. Don't kill me. I just feel like J Balvin, um, hello, get it together. Where's the new music? J Alvarez, hello. There has been like no new Spanish music. If you know of any, let me know, like reggaeton, because I definitely haven't heard any, and I'd be up on it. But I have a lot of like depressing, sad music, like lovey dovey, just because I've been playing the Ed Sheeran uh, playlist on Pandora. So I'm obsessed with Ed Sheeran. He's probably my favorite artist. Like right now, he's my favorite artist. When my fourth finger meets my knuckle Cause maybe you're lovable And maybe you're my snowflake And your eyes turn from green to grey in the winter I'll hold you in a cold place and Cause I love the way you flick it off your shoulder You look so wonderful in your dress You are so heavenly So in love So 
the winner to the giveaway is Dina Gomez. It's actually so crazy. Um, she's one of my YouTube... Well, she's not my YouTube friend. She's my real friend, but I met her from YouTube, and she does YouTube videos, and we actually have a video coming up soon together. So when I saw that I stopped on her comment, like, it literally gave me chills because I just feel so connected to her, and honestly, like, I don't know anybody else who... I mean, I'm getting emotional. I can't wait to share with you guys some more information about what we have coming up, but... I'm just so happy like that she's in my life and when I saw that she won like I literally almost cried because it's just it's just so overwhelming honestly I really wish you guys could have all won the 35 old palette you guys all deserve it and yeah I just really can't wait to hit 200k like I'm trying to just gather stuff so that I can give you guys like more prizes so more winners can win so yeah hopefully the palette goes back in stock um, I'll probably post on Instagram if it does so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.